Now, Ohm's law. See here, keep one thing in your mind before discussing this Ohm's law. Ohm's law is not the universal law just like the law of gravitation or Coulomb's law. Ohm's law that is just an experimental observation. Okay? And it is not necessary all the substances in all the conditions obeys Ohm's law. Now see, under definite physical condition means, say, constant temperature, the current flowing through conductor that directly proportional to the potential difference applied across ends of the conductor. That is the Ohm's law. So, we can write if potential difference applied across two ends of the conductor that is V volt and current flowing through the conductor that is I ampere, then we can write V proportional to I. Or we can say V by I that is constant. And that constant that is called the resistance of the conductor. Resistance that is the feature of the conductor due to which it opposes the motion of the charge through the conductor. Okay. Now, we can write R that is equal to V by I. So, the resistance of the conductor, that is the ratio of the potential difference applied across the conductor to the current flowing through it. And its unit, that is known as Ohm on behalf of the name of scientist. And this one is the symbol of unit, ohm. And we can write here ohm that is equal to volt per ampere. Ohm that is equal to volt per ampere. Clear to all of you this ohm's law? Then after just remember this word reciprocal of the resistance that is known as conductance. So when this one is the reciprocal of resistance, so its unit means the unit of conductance that we can write one upon ohm. That one upon ohm that we can write as ohm inverse. And that ohm inverse is written as MHO, MO. And it's a symbol that is as shown here, that is also opposite to this one. Clear?